So you all know that you can send MIDI messages from your Morningstar controller by pressing a switch or moving an expression pedal. But did you know that you can also send MIDI messages simply by entering or exiting a bank? You can do this by using bank presets. A bank preset is exactly what it sounds like. Instead of pressing a switch or moving an expression pedal, a bank preset automatically sends your desired combination of MIDI messages whenever you enter or exit a particular bank. This comes in really useful when you want a preset tone already loaded when you enter a bank, or for example when you want your Morningstar controller to automatically be in looper mode when you enter a bank you've set up to control looping functions. Every bank on a Morningstar controller has its own unique bank preset that can send up to 16 different MIDI messages. They are really easy to set up, let's show you how. You can program your bank presets on your Morningstar controller itself or by using the Morningstar device editor. We'll demonstrate using the editor because it's much clearer and faster. With your controller connected to the Morningstar editor, scroll to the bank you want to use, then click on the Edit Bank tab followed by Edit Bank Settings. You can then program your bank preset just like you would with any of your switch presets. You can choose if you want your messages to be sent when you enter the bank or when you exit the bank. For this example, let's say we want preset 2C on the HX Stomp already engaged when we enter bank 25 on the MC8. Let's go ahead and program our first MIDI message. Since I want the HX Stomp preset to be engaged when I enter the bank, I'll select on enter and I'll just need to send a program change message with PC number 5 which recalls preset 2C on the HX Stomp. If you don't know what PC number recalls what preset on the HX Stomp, Line 6 has actually made it really easy. Watch our video here to find out how. Since my HX Stomp is set to MIDI channel 1, I'll send this PC message on MIDI channel 1. Now that's done, I just need to hit save and we're good. Now when I enter bank 25 on the MC8, preset 2C on the HX Stomp will automatically be loaded and ready to go. As you can send 16 different MIDI messages with each bank preset, you can do this for multiple pedals simultaneously too. As you can see here, I have another message programmed to also call up another preset on the Strymon timeline when I enter bank 25. Now for a bonus tip, here on bank 3 of my MC8, I have 8 presets already programmed. If I want my intro preset, which is preset F, to be automatically engaged when I enter this bank, I can just use the engage preset message type together with my bank presets. Since I want preset F engaged when I enter bank 3, I just need to select on enter and choose engage preset message type, choose bank number 3 and preset F. It's that simple. Now when I enter bank 3, my intro preset is automatically engaged and ready to go. Moving on to our next possible use case, if you have a bank set up for loop control like I have here on bank 5, you can automatically recall your looper preset on the HX Storm and put your Morningstar controller into looper mode when you enter the bank. You can also automatically disengage looper mode when you exit the bank. If you don't know what looper mode is yet, you can watch this video to find out. To set this up for your desired bank, simply select on enter and send a PC message to recall your looper preset on your HX Stomp. In this example, we are sending PC number 124 because our looper preset is preset 42B on the HX Stomp. And for this example, we'll add a second message to engage the MC8's looper mode when we enter the bank by selecting on enter and choosing the looper mode message type. Select engage and activate apply to selected switches only. This is because we only want switches E, F, G, and H, the top row on the MC8, to be put into looper mode so that we can still bank up and down using dual switch presses on the lower row. As you can see here, I've selected the time sensitive switches to be on the top row. We have our record play, stop, and overdub, which have to be activated very accurately. And I have the less time sensitive switches here, such as our effect, half time, normal, and reverse on the bottom row. Lastly, we'll add a third message to disengage looper mode when we exit the bank. Select on exit and choose looper mode, disengage. Click save and we're done. Now when I enter bank 5, my MC8 will automatically recall preset 42B on the HX Stomp and be put into looper mode, giving me latency free looping control. And when I'm done looping, I can just bank up or down to exit the bank and my MC8 will automatically disengage looper mode. If you've watched up till here, I hope that you've enjoyed the video and do consider subscribing to our channel. Also remember to hit that like button, it helps our channel grow and allows us to continue putting out more interesting and useful content for you guys. That'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Peace.